Welcome to my Cisco's Scaling Network Lab Review. We're doing Lab 7434, Configuring Basic EIGRP with IPv6. So again, I already have this diagram off screen. And I'm going to scroll down. Go ahead and read through the scenario. First things first, let's get, uh, enable IPv6 routing on each of the routers. So on R1, I'm going to go ahead, get to my global configuration mode. And that's going to be enable, or sorry, IPv6 unicast routing. IPv6 unicast routing turns on the IPv6 routing functionality. And config. Team, we want IPv6 in a cast routing. That way, it will actually process IPv6 routing commands. Otherwise, it won't. Config T IPv6 in a cast routing. All right. So step one is taken care of. Step two: enable EIGRP for IPv6 routing on each of the routers. We're going to be using the autonomous system number one. I'm going to also be looking at assigning the different router IDs for the appropriate units. All right, so I'm going to hop back on R1. So I want IPv6. I want router. EIGRP1. I want the router I ID set to one 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 one. Uh -oh. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, that's <laughs> I forgot with this, we're doing EIGRP, router, ID. I forgot with the EIGRP, with IPv6, you have to tell it EIGRP first. And then we'll end with a no shut command. And that's what we're going to do for the other two routers. On R2, we're going to be using the router ID 2222. IPv6 router EIGRP AS number one. We're doing EIGRP router ID no shut. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for R3 again using R3's code 3333. So IP v6 router eigrp as number one we're doing eigrp router id no shut all right so we've done steps two and three Next, let's go ahead and configure the network statements as outlined by part four. Now, remember, in IPv6, we don't do network statements the traditional way. We're actually doing them per interface. And you don't really do these via ranges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in a Word document. And I'm going to be setting up interface gig 000 IP v6 EIGRP 1 int serial same thing except all right there we go we have our gig 0 our Serial 000 and our serial 001. 
and that will allow us to do IP, IPv6 EIGRP on each of these interfaces. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to hop on R2, go back to my global configuration, paste it. And here we have an adjacency between R1 and R2. And lastly, hop on R3, go back to my global configuration, paste it again. And R3 will do an adjacency with R2 and R1. All right, so step four is now complete. I'm gonna give it a minute and I'm gonna hop on R1. I'm gonna get to my user exact mode. I want to show IPv6 route. That way I can see the appropriately learned, you know what, question mark. Notice we can't do it via EIGRP but we can just look for the D sections. And we have those three network statements. We can also do a show IPv6 protocols. It will let us know it's connected it's the IGRP1, the appropriate K values, max hop count, the interfaces. We're doing this on R1, so those are the appropriate interfaces. So we've done that. Lastly, we've done this guy. Let's go ahead and verify that PC1 can ping the other PCs. Ping. I'll make this a little bit easier for myself. And it works. I'm going to ping PC3. And it works. So this lab is complete. Let's go and check results to verify. All right, let's check our assessment items. And it looks like everything has a green check mark. Yes, it does. So we are done with this lab. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you. Bye.